Good morning. We're watching the Olympics, like I expect uh, most people are, and uh, there's some amazing stuff going on. Um, I did manage to get a ticket, but I did get the uh, souvenir program, so I can keep you in touch with what's going on. Everyone in Hong Kong is celebrating Jiang Ka Long, uh, of course, the, the fencer. Um, he went to Yinghua College, which is uh, it's probably the oldest school in Hong Kong. It started in 1818 in, uh, in Malacca and then moved to Hong Kong in uh, 1843. So a nice bit of history there. It's a real uh, east-west uh, school. Uh, I've spoken there several times and the kids, the kids are great. Uh, Edgar Jiang Ka Long always stood out for many reasons, uh, not just his athletic prowess, but he's he's six foot four, which is uh, which is very tall for a Hong Kong person. I mean, it's very tall for for a human person, especially in Hong Kong where people tend to be rather compactly built. Um, also, getting uh, deserved attention, of course, is uh, Siobhan Hockey from the from the swim team. Here's the swim team. Uh, some amazing people there too. Um, she, well, despite her name, she's a real Hong Konger. She speaks Cantonese. She went to St. Paul's School. They were both born in 1997, so they, they grew up with the new Hong Kong, and uh, Hong Kong is very proud of them. Some people may notice uh, Siobhan's surname, Hockey. Does that remind you of anything? It was actually the, the name of one of uh, Ireland's prime ministers, and she is distantly related to him. Uh, coming up is the uh, there's the karate coming up. Did you know Hong Kong had a karate team? That's coming up in uh, that's towards the end of the first week in August. Um, other things to look out for is we've got a great cycling uh, cycling team. Uh, Lee Wai Zi uh, here. Uh, it's a particularly amazing story. I mean, she grew up in like a tiny little public housing flat. Uh, in Kowloon and uh, with her parents and her siblings all squashed together and now she's a star and it's uh, uh, it's great to see that so keep watching the Olympics and uh, let's hope for some more wins for Hong Kong people goodbye